what's going on YouTube in today's video I want to talk about the pros and cons of owning a Tahoe so let's take a look at my truck for everyone that hasn't seen it. all right so this is my 2004 Tahoe and it's not stock as you can see for all the new people it has a lift and a lot of aftermarket parts um, exhaust intake that's really it other than that uh, but I just want to give you all some pros and cons of just the truck in general and this will go for uh, mostly stock because that's what you, how you're going to be buying the truck so I want to start with the pros of owning this truck so so the first pro of owning this truck is going to be how reliable it is uh, so the truck being reliable is not going to be an issue if you're looking at one of these uh, I mean I've had this for a year now and Nothing major on, his, on this truck is broke. I mean, like, I haven't, as far as, like, driving-wise, I haven't had to do anything. You know, I still needs a little bit of work, but as far as, like, just driving, I probably put, I think I put almost 20,000 miles on this truck in the one year I've owned it. And nothing has broke or left me on the side of the road. This truck has been real reliable, and you'll see a lot of these on the road because of how reliable they are. And, uh, honestly, You'll see these probably everywhere, and these trucks easily can make it past 300,000 miles. It won't be a huge task for this truck. You know, it's actually a pretty common thing if you get a taken care of Tahoe. Even beat up Tahoes can sometimes make it to 300,000 miles. So it has a 5.3. Uh, no, the 4.8 is reliable too. I'm not as you know informed on the 4.8s, but they're pretty much the same as the 5.3. So. Um, all year 2000 or 2006 five threes which is what i'm talking about you don't have to worry about those really so liability is huge and you won't have to worry about this truck breaking down on you much a second pro is going to be how cheap the parts are so you can expect to not pay much for parts at all so if this truck does break down which probably won't be that often the parts would be very cheap so uh, more so than most other vehicles out there. This truck, you know, if you wanted to, you know, change an alternator, it'd probably be 150 bucks. Whereas a lot of cars might be two, three hundred. Or, you know, one of your random pulleys goes out, a gasket. They're all going to be cheap. So that's a great pro to this truck. And if the engine ever does decide to fail on you and you need a new engine, you can get one for five to eight hundred bucks. You know, stuff like that. You can get a 4L60 for about 500 bucks as well sometimes even less than that and it'll be in working condition these are used of course but just saying the parts are very cheap for this truck so that's a great pro um, it's reliable and then when it does break the parts are cheap so that was my first two pros next pro of the tahoe is going to be the aftermarket you wouldn't expect a truck like that to have an aftermarket but it does. Tahoe probably has the biggest aftermarket of any vehicle I've owned, including that 2013 Camaro SS. So, the Tahoe's aftermarket is huge, you know. They have everything you can think of for this truck. If you want to lift it, if you want to lower it, if you want to make it a drag truck, they have the whole rear suspension for that. Like, they literally make everything for every kind of application. It's pretty crazy how good the aftermarket is, and going along with the parts being cheap, just to maintenance the truck, the parts are cheap in the aftermarket as well. A lot of people use the motors out of these trucks, other project cars, but because of how strong they are. So that's a huge pro. So, you know, turbos, stuff like that, you can get them all day for this truck and they'll be cheap. So aftermarket is huge. I'm not going to keep rambling on about that. So let's go on to the next pro. So the next pro I want to go over, the off-road capability. People, when you look at a Tahoe, you wouldn't think of a truck that's very capable off-road, but you put, simply put some tires on this truck and you can get anywhere, or this SUV, I should say. I don't know why I keep calling it a truck, but with a Tahoe, put some tires on it and it can get anywhere. You know, I recently took my truck on a trip uh, with this setup and I went down some roads that cars, you know, it said no personal vehicles beyond this point and it was a pretty serious off-road trail that, you know, mostly ATVs only go down when we were out of town. So, took my truck down there, no problem. And pretty sure a stock Tahoe could have got through there too. So, this truck is very capable of going almost anywhere. 
Uh, mine is rear wheel drive. I don't have a four wheel drive truck, but if you have a four wheel drive and you put the right wheel and tire set up, uh, or you just put the right tire set up, honestly, you'll be able to get anywhere. So this truck is very off-road capable and it's very capable of going anywhere. You know, I've also drove my truck in snow and ice before, you know, when I first, first put these wheels and tires and the lift kit on there. This truck can get anywhere. Mine is rear wheel drive. So these trucks are very off-road capable. So I'm not going to ramble on about that. Let's move on to the last pro that we're going to discuss in this video. So the last pro is going to be the towing capability. So with the Tahoes, you know, with minor, very minor mods, you, you're towing 8,000 pounds probably as far as you want. Um, so for an SUV, you know, for this to be a SUV under about 5,000 as a jet takes off at the airport next door. A few moments later. Okay, so before I was interrupted, the probably is going to be the best tow rig you can get for the price. You know, you can pretty much tow close to 8,000 pounds comfortably. Um, there are some things you need to consider though, like if you have the one piston brakes, you might want to upgrade those to the two pistons, but they have kits for all of that. Um, other thing is the suspension. You know, after those two things, you got to consider your transmission cooler and um, the fans, but that's only if you're going to be towing near the tow capacity, you know. For the most part, this truck will be fine towing five, six, seven thousand pounds all day. So it's very capable of towing. And for the price, I don't know if there's any better tow rigs out there. So those are all the pros I want to go over in this video. Uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if I missed anything, my Tahoe owners, Suburban owners, uh, y'all throw it down in the comments below what I missed or, you know, anything you want to add. Let everyone know to help everyone make the best decision before purchasing this truck. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell to know when I'm uploading. And as always, y'all take it easy. And I will catch you all on the next video.